Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video, I'm very excited because I got all three shades of the brand new um, Tarte blush, blush Tape. I guess it's the Shape Tape, Blush Tape, everything Shape Tape, just like Pillow Talk is everything for Charlotte Tilbury, Shape Tape is everything for Tarte. And um, these were teased a while back and they were finally released on QVC. They are not yet available on Tarte Cosmetics yet, um, but they will be. However, when you buy them on QVC, you get a free brush. So I actually got three of these, and I got two of these when I got the contour wands, but I got all three shades, and I'm gonna try them out right now. So as I mentioned, these just were released on QVC, and there are three shades. The shades are pink, peach, and berry. So they are pretty much, again, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So they're going to save you, I have to say, about $7 because these are $35. And then the Charlotte Tilbury ones are now running $42. Um, and the what I'm seeing is this one looks to be really light. I have not tested it yet, but I think the berry is going to be closer to Pinkasm. But I am going to do some comparisons between these and the Pink and Pinkasm from Charlotte Tilbury, as well as the new matte blushes from Charlotte Tilbury, because I'm curious as to if these have more shine, less shine, or are they closer in matte? So really kind of curious to see what we have, but let's go ahead and do some quick swatches. And just like with the Charlotte Tilbury, it is the same exact top. So you can kind of see here, now my pink asm has seen better days, but it's pretty much the identical um, top. So the main thing is that you need to open it and close it. Closing it is important. I forgot one time and this is what it ends up looking like. So just open it up and this is the pink. So we're gonna kind of squeeze it out here and do some swatches here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this one, yeah, this one is really light. So this one, that's what I saw it, when I first got it. It just looks to be very, very pale. So yeah, the pink is very, very light. And then let's go ahead and compare it to, this is the Pinkasm. So you'll see here, this is the pink from Tarte. This is the Pinkasm. Okay, and here is the berry from Tarte. So yeah, it seems that even the berry is, seems pretty light. So that's, they're very close. So I would say, yeah, it's kind of a, I, I'm not even gonna swatch the, the mattes. Well, I guess I can. Um, I'll do a quick comparison with the mattes. But let's do a quick comparison with the mattes. This is the Pillow Talk, just cause you can see it. But this definitely has more sheen. These are more like the Pinkasm and Peachgasm than the new mattes. So it's definitely going to be a different product than the new ones that Charlotte Tilbury just came out with. Okay, so I did take off the Pillow Talk, but let's go ahead. This is the Tarte Peach. Really pretty color, but it seems like you need a little bit more product. And here is the Charlotte Tilbury Peachgasm. So I would say the Charlotte Tilbury's definitely has more pigment. These are definitely lighter. So this is the Tarte Pink, Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm, uh, tart berry, tart peach, Charlotte Tilbury peach gasm. So the Charlotte Tilburys definitely have a little bit more oomph, but very similar, same amount of sheen. I think on the cheek, you're probably going to need a little bit more product with the tart, but you're going to get similar looks. So, but let's go ahead and try some of them out. So actually, as I'm taking them off, I'm kind of just blending them out. One of the things I'm noticing is the Charlotte Tilbury has a lot more stain powder, whereas the Charlotte Til the Tarte, it's almost coming off. Um, this one is the Berry. It's, it's just, it kind of is very, I don't know, it just seems to be coming off a lot quicker. Whereas this is the Peachgasm, it's coming off. It just seems to be a little bit thicker consistency, whereas the Tarte is kind of just, kind of wiping off, I mean, the peachgasm or the peach from tart is almost gone whereas the peachgasm it's still there so i don't know um i don't know about that okay so i'm going to go in with the pink on this side quick and we're just going to apply it like i would the other ones and i'm just going to use it with my fingers because honestly that's what i did with the charlotte tilbury and i think the brush is going to take a lot of it off but I don't know, this one is very light. This is the pink. 
Um, it's very, very light, and I feel like, maybe you like that, but I feel like you need a lot more product, and I also feel like it's going to come off. So that is the pink. Um, it's pretty. I, I don't know. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go in with the berry. Now the berry has more pigment to it. So let's go ahead and go with the berry. And yeah, that definitely has some more color to it. So I'm gonna go in with my finger again. And yeah, this one I, I like a lot better. But I will say they feel a lot more water. They feel watery compared to the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the Charlotte, they're very similar but the Charlotte Tilbury definitely has more consistency, more thickness, more stickiness to this. This feels very, again, just watery, um, like I could just wipe it off. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be once I set it, but then once I set it, is the color going to disappear? But of the two pink shades, the pink and the berry, I think to me the pink is a pass, it's just too light. Um, it's pretty, but it's it's just too light for me, and it's what I like. If you like something like this, I think that's great, but the berry seems to be the closest one to pinkasm. So, um, but again, it is, it's not drying down at all, so it still feels very moist, very, very wet, and I don't know. Um, I don't know, let's, let's maybe put some powder and see how it looks. Okay, so I just put a little bit of powder and that seemed to help a bunch um, and the color didn't go away. So I definitely like it better now. Um, so I think it's really pretty. Um, so I will say it doesn't give as much luminosity as the Pinkasm. However, I actually like that because I don't really, the, the luminosity of the Pinkasm, I use it more as a topper and I'm gonna be using it now as a topper with the matte blushes, which I absolutely love. So this is kind of somewhere in between once it's on the skin and I like that. I feel like you could kind of, I could do this instead of doing this and this. So, and kind of get the same result. However, you're gonna use a lot more product because it's just not as opaque and as, um, it's just thick as the Charlotte Tilbury. So with the Charlotte Tilbury, I never have to reapply. I put it on. Sometimes I just put too much product. I had to put almost double the amount of product that I did with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't know. I like the berry a lot. I, the pink is just the pink is just too light for me for my own preference. Um, but let's go in with the peach next. Okay. So next up, I'm going to go in with the peach, and this is the shade I actually like the most and i'm not a huge fan of the pink peach gasm i like it but i don't love it so this one i'm actually really excited because i like the tone and shade of this one more than i do the peach gasm so going in and again it's just really really wet and watery i feel like i'm going to need to reapply and build it up more than I would have to do so with the Charlotte Tilbury. So, I don't know. Um, so that is this side. Let's go ahead and this side and try with the brush because it did give the brush and I have not used it. But I mean, I'm using a lot of product here and these things are $35. And that's the thing with the Charlotte Tilbury ones is you don't need a lot of product. So they're $42, but you don't, a little bit goes a long way. This one, I just feel like I have to keep applying. And I don't know. Um, so yeah, I feel like, I mean, the brush is nice, but I love the brush for the contour wand. I love the contour wand. I've been using the Cool Bronze a lot but it this works well with it I, it does it doesn't take off the product it doesn't lift my foundation so okay let me put some powder on and come back okay so i put a little bit of powder on and then the product like pretty much disappeared so i had to put more on um mm, 
This breaks my heart. I was really excited about these. I was really excited because I thought we were gonna get some new shades and um, and like I kind of felt like it was going to be somewhere in between the two. I didn't think it was going to be as luminous as these, which I love. I love that. I love that part about it. So I was kind of hoping somewhere in between like more of a dewy blush than a, you know, you know, gasm type, you know, pinkasm, but not necessarily matte. And it's not, it, it's that, but it falls short because they just kind of wipe away. And I think they're pretty, but you're going to need a lot of product. And at $35 a piece, that's a lot. I think for that, go for one of the brushes. Oh, I just dropped something. Go for one of the Charlotte Tilbury um, matte blushes. These are not necessarily matte matte, but these have longevity. These dry down and they dry down. These just aren't drying down and they just move. And I haven't, now obviously this is just for first impressions. So I think they're pretty. I will keep them. I'm going to continue to play around with them. Obviously this is just a first impression video because I wanted, I got them and I wanted to get this video up. But my initial expectations or my initial thoughts are I'm a little disappointed, um, especially since I love the contour wand and I actually have been using and reaching for the cool bronze more so than I have been my Charlotte Tilbury, mainly because I like the color better. It, it blends out. It's a fantastic product. These are not it. These are not they just need more opacity. They're they're just not I don't know. I, I, I can't, you know, put a nail on it. So what I would say is if you've been thinking about these and I would say maybe test them out when they come in store. Don't buy them on QVC yet because, and if you're going to get a shade, I think the best shade is Berry. I think Berry is going to be the shade that has the most, you know, power or punch, but the other two I think are just way too light. And I mean, and I'm pretty pale, I'm pale. So if they're too light for me, anybody with a deeper complexion isn't going to be able to wear them and you just need a lot of product so to me i hate this because i never i really do negative videos and this is kind of a pass these are kind of these are kind of a disappointment so um yeah i'm gonna say this these are a pass for me i'm gonna keep them i'm gonna play around with them and then i plan on doing kind of an update review on any products any new products every so often it won't be necessarily every month because i don't renew enough review enough products i'm um, on a monthly basis but any you know kind of products i'm using i'm going to be doing like a speed review kind of an update so i will definitely update you as i continue to play around with these but again, my initial thought on these are, these are a pass, definitely go for the Charlotte Tilbury ones or go for the original Pinkasm, Peachgasm. I think they're back in stock. They're only $7 more and you're going to, you're going to use less product than you would with these because these require a lot to get this, you know, a similar result and not even the same result. So sorry, Tarte. Um, so with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye, everyone.